U.S. computer maker Dell Technologies is exploring a range of options that could see the world's largest privately held technology company grow further through acquisitions or go public, people familiar with the matter said on Thursday. Dell's board of directors will meet later this month to consider the biggest shakeup in the company's history since it acquired data storage provider EMC Corporation. For $67 billion in 2016, the sources said that The Round Rock, Texas-based company, headed by its founder Michael Dell, is under pressure to boost its profitability after the EMC deal failed to deliver the cost savings and performance it projected, while higher component costs and the challenging data storage market have eroded its margins. Dell is reviewing a list of several possible acquisition targets that would boost its cash flow and expand its offerings, the sources said. Dell's review is at its very early stages, and no deal is certain, according to the sources, who requested anonymity to discuss the deliberations. The company did not respond to a request for comment outside of regular U.S. business hours. Moyer shares, which have gained more than 62% in the past 12 months, touched an all-time high on Thursday. Dell, whose technology portfolio spans servers, displays, workstations and gaming PCs, also has a security unit, RSA, and a cloud platform called Gilney. The company has struggled with fierce competition in the storage market as cloud-based rivals such as Amazon. Com Incorporated SAS and Microsoft Corporation as Azure put pressure on prices. Dell's infrastructure chief, former EMC executive David Golden, departed last fall, and the firm has since been working to reorganize its storage operations. The PC market, which Michael Dell helped shape by founding Dell in 1984 as a university pre-med freshman with $1,000 in savings, has remained stagnant due to the popularity of smartphones and tablets, shrinking by zero. Seven billion in the nine months to not point three from $41.6 billion a year earlier. However, the company's operating expenses soared from $10 billion to $17.3 billion, leading to an operating loss of $3 billion, up from a $1.6 billion operating loss a year ago.